this piece of crap. Doesn't work properly. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, what a piece of trap. Hi. Welcome to Detective Month of the Classic TV Reviewer. And today, we're starting off with that fucking gun. Excuse me. We're starting off with the Rockford Files, which started from September of 1974 to January of 1980. This, by far, is one of probably the most remembered detective shows. It's about Jim Rockford, who, this guy who just got out of prison. He got out of prison. He was a Korean War vet, and he's with his father. And his father comes to visit, and it's ashamed of him because he's not a truck driver. You're a PI, which is pretty awesome. But no, no. Yes, I thought of This show's also know, known for having the first appearance of one of my dearest crushes, Lindsay Wagner. She was in the, what was supposed to be the pilot, but then they, they kind of put it into season two. So that whole thing just doesn't, it seems kind of weird. But if you get the DVDs, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. For one, this show is interesting because it's, it's about second chances. How Rockford, he went to prison, and he came out, he's, he's doing something worthwhile with his life. And he gets, the whole thing is he's $200 a day plus expenses. Well, for even the 70s, even a low private investor got, got paid at least $500 a day plus expenses. So that's something James Garner had came out of himself. Jim lives in a tra uh, trailer. He drives, you know, a Firebird. And they have, like, a lot of, you know, celebrities on there. Jet Paul Michael Glacier. Um, God, I'm trying to think of his name. James Woods. He was on there. And I want, okay, i got to bring up, by season one, they brought in a character and they kind of hid him in there. Was Jim? Jim had a friend that was a ex criminal like him, trying to make his way. And working in the library, kind of like one to forget the past. And that character was Angel Martin. Angel would return for the next season and more because Angel was always getting into trouble. They reversed it. He said he didn't want no trouble, but he got trouble type of thing. So basically, you know, there would be all kinds of different, you know, things he would do with Angel. And there was a few spinoffs, but one of the worst was the, actually the final episode called A Couple of Guys. Yeah, the very final episode of The Rockford Files is a pre up spinoff. That's what you want to say, you know, there is no goodbye to this character which is sad, but Jim would return in three TV movies, or four, I, you know, I'm being there, I think, but Jim also would, you know, take sometimes clients that were not, you know, they didn't have money, such as Lindsay Wagner's character, hey, I have a crush on her, well, I had, I had a crush on her, I just don't know exactly what her character's name was. But this show is one of those shows you have to see. Cause I, I like the fact that you know, he's an ex-criminal. He's getting his life together. And it is just so funny and just how some of the stuff goes on in the show. I'm giving this, you know, a really high recommendation. I'm not done with the review yet, but I'm giving it a high recommendation. You need to see it because it is good. And I think if people have gone to prison and served their time and they're you know, not bothering people anymore. They're not doing any crimes. This is something you can look up to. But, yeah, there was a lot of really good episodes in this show. I can't really name them all. And I, I don't want to forget about naming off his friend, which who passed away recently. The actor who played Dennis Becker. And, no, he's not related to Becker from the TV show Becker. I know you smart-ass kids are thinking that. But, no, they... He passed away, the actor, which is, my name is escaping me right now. He, you know, he passed away, and Becker was kind of like his, you know, he would go to him for information.
type of thing. And he, sometimes he'd say no, but he'd help him out anyways. He, he was a friend. But yeah, I'm getting in this review was saying that they had lovable characters such as Joseph Rockford, which he was going by Rocky. They had his lawyer, which she did an episode of Magnum P.I., which, yeah. And the show was created by Stephen J. Cannell, which, if any of you know, he created the A-Team and Hunter, which I've also reviewed Hunter. So, yes, um, check it out. So until next time, trust me, I know what I'm reviewing.